Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to recover specific files from a Godzilla backup. In this example, I've created a backup of my laptop's 120GB SSD, um, which became a 20GB image file. So, before you begin, we will need two things. At least 120 gigabytes of free space to create a virtual disk image. Uh, this can be an internal or external drive. And a USB storage device to store the actual Clonezilla image. I'm pretty sure there are some alternatives but this seems to be the fastest way for me so first of all we need to go to the clonezilla webpage and download the clonezilla iso version so download stable release since since my backup system was 32 bit every time i get to choose the architecture i always choose 32 bit so also we need the ISO version for this procedure download this thing and wait for it to complete now we are going to start the VirtualBox program and create a new machine uh, give it a name and choose Linux, Ubuntu, and we, we're gonna need once again the 32 version, 32 bit version, right here. Next, give it some good amount of RAM, read the virtual disk image. Yeah, default, next fixed size and now we are going to give it a 120 gigabytes at least of space but to be sure I'm gonna give it um, I'm gonna give it 130 okay and now we must wait for this thing to complete okay so Let's now configure our virtual machine. We go to settings, we go into storage, and click here and choose our Clonezilla ISO. Well, this already appears to me here, but you're gonna need to click here and choose the ISO from where you've downloaded it. Go there, find the thing, and open. Alright, so we are going now to let the virtual machine know how to find the USB storage so it can find the, the Clonezilla ISO, the, the actual program ISO. So here, USB, click this button, it has filter. Now my external storage USB device is uh, mm -hmm. this one. I guess it's this one because it's a uh, Western Digital uh, disk and there says WD. So, okay, so there might be some other settings that we might want to change. Um, let's go to the settings menu again. Uh, maybe system. We don't need floppy. Uh, seems fine here. Alright. Display. We might give it uh, full video memory. Maybe enable. Okay, this is for Windows. Enable 3D only. Okay, so everything's set. Let's start it. Okay, Clonezilla. 
Um, here let's go with the default settings. This takes a bit, it's booting. Alright, so default, default. Now we're going to start. Now we're going to choose the the uh, this option. Uh, we will work with disks and partitions using images. Everything's local here. Okay, so uh, we're going to choose now the the disk that contains the um, the image, the backup image, um, which is this one. It's the my external Western Digital disk, which is connected through USB. We're going to, to look for the image, in my case, this folder. Uh, there you go. Let's go with beginner mode. Now, we are going to restore disk. Um, because we really want to restore the entire, the entire disk. So this option here. Oh. I'm going to restart the I have two actually. I'm going to restart this old older one because it's the one that, that have the the files that, that I want to access. Now this is the my local disk. In this case the the one hundred and twenty and thirty uh disk that we have created. So um, this is yeah. I want to continue. Yeah, I'm sure. Now this is going to take a long time, uh, depending on the the size of the disk. So just let it do its thing and wait for it complete. Alright, so now the process is complete. We have our our image restored. And um, so we are ready to start. Just go to settings, storage, make sure this is empty. Uh, we don't need Clonezilla anymore. Otherwise, you can just click uh, remove disk. We are all set, and here we go. Um, if you have any mounting errors, just press S the S letter key and it just goes to the login screen and that's it people the the image is now completely operational as a virtual machine you can access your files and everything that you lost so um, if you like the video please like and subscribe it helps a lot see you soon bye